Okay, so now we want to show you why it is incorrect measuring the volume of the intestinal insufflation direct at the port. And with a syringe which has a quite huge resistance which is moving very fast, uh, very heavy. So let's show you this. If I have a syringe like this which, is, which has a resistance, I go in insufflation, I'm choosing a concentration, I do now zero which is only oxygen because we only want to test the volume so when I press now the 50 milliliters with this syringe you can see it's going up to 46 47 which is quite accurate even with a plastic syringe let's take the other syringe this is an old glass syringe. I'm taking this one. Here's the 50 milliliters. I'm pressing 50 milliliters again. And it goes much higher. It goes up to 60 milliliters. Why? Because we, are, we cannot use or we do not use the machine like this when we do rectal insufflation. Therefore, we normally use a filter as we recommended also in our manual so I'm taking the filter to protect the device for any bacteria which could go from the colon into the device then we have this Heidelberger extension line which is here connected and normally we would connect now a catheter to that port but I need to measure it so I'm taking this connector here so now I take again the glass syringe which has no resistance, same as an intestine. I put it on here and I'm still in the same menu, so I'm pressing 50 milliliters and it's right on the spot, 50 milliliters. Let's do it again. Fifty milliliters and it's right at the spot again. So but what happened now? If I take a plastic syringe with the filter here and with the extension line, before we were at 46, 47 milliliters. So when I attach now this syringe, which has a resistance, with an, which an intestine does not have, I press 50 milliliters, and now we are only at 42. And it depends on the syringes. When the syringe is moving much harder, it can stay at 30. Let's see if I have an old syringe here. It's the same syringe. If we just took the one. Let's see what comes out with this syringe. 50 milliliters and we are only at 30. So it depends how often the syringe was used that the readings are complete incorrect. But having the right and correct measurement we are using the glass syringe which has no resistance, as you can see it, it's moving very slightly. So, and now I press 50 again and right on the spot. Okay? So, you can see, this is how you measure it correctly, because otherwise, if I take a syringe like this, the maximum pressure we give into a colon is 0 0.3 bar. So when the device with the pressure is at the max, the device is taking right away the pressure away and does not give more oxygen or ozone into a colon to protect the patient's intestine. So you can see it, I'm pressing the 50, I'm closing it a little bit and you can see here, it was in the red area so it stopped right away because something is wrong in the colon, in the intestine, or anywhere else. So this is measured without any resistance. This was the old syringe, 30 milliliters. Taking again the fresh unpacked syringe. It's more than 40. And taking the glass syringe. without resistance and it's right on the spot at 50.